everyone, it's Magpie J, and today I'm going to show you how to make this bee from Minecraft. This is actually one of the very first things I made on TikTok and my first video to get any views or any attention at all. This is a pretty easy figure to make. All you need is one color of clay, some tools to sculpt it, and then some paint. I'm using white clay just because it's easy to paint over, but scrap clay or any kind of clay works. So I'm starting by taking a little ball and then forming that into a rectangle. This is going to be the body. So next I'm going to be making the legs, and for this I'm taking more of my scrap clay and I'm rolling out these little logs. I'm going to do this three different times and I'm cutting it in half. Each one of these halves is going to be a leg, and there are six legs in total. Then I'm just sticking them all onto the body. And here's what they look like all together and blended on. Next, I'm making the antenna, which is almost the same process as the legs, but slightly smaller. I'm placing these right on the head, um, kind of where I think each one of the eyes is going to go. It goes right above the eyes. So the last thing we need to do before baking this is make the wings, and each of these is just a little teardrop shape, and they go right in the center of the body, one on each side, just like this. The ones in Minecraft have see-through wings, but I don't really know if that's possible for out of clay or at least what I'm experienced in. So I'm making them white. I think it still looks super cute. And this is the finished, you know, little sculpture before it's actually painted. And here I went ahead and baked it according to the package instructions, and now I'm getting out my paint. I'm using acrylic paint because I think it works really well on the clay after it's baked. And I've never had it actually, you know, crumble or fall off, especially after I've glazed it. And I'm not using the straight yellow because the ones in Minecraft are a little bit more orangey than this yellow I have here, so enjoy some paint mixing while I try to get the exact color of the bee. So once I was happy with the color, I went ahead and painted the entire charm. I just thought it was easier than trying to avoid all of the little legs and wings and stuff, and it gave it a good foundation. I have a lot of people say that the clay looks like gum at first, so painting it yellow, yay, it looks more like a bee. Now I'm going to be mixing the brown color that's going to be the stripes and like the end of the bee, and oh, on the legs as well. So I painted the butt of the bee and two little stripes and its legs, and then I'm painting the antenna black. I think this is the cutest part. I don't know, something about how they stick out and they're like so tiny is cute. Yay, starting to look like a bee. Now I just need to add the face and paint the wings and it'll be totally done. So the eyes are black and then they have a little blue, but I was letting those dry and while they dry I'm painting the wings. I decided to just go plain white instead of try to make them look pixelated. And then here's the blue! I think he looks super cute already, but the glaze is what makes it perfect because all of those little like rough details of the paint vanish under the glaze. I don't know how, it's magic. I use UV resin to glaze my charms because I think it looks super glossy and it's like thick gloss. It also, as I said before, gets rid of all of those little paint imperfections and it makes it look super smooth. Here he is, all glazed and done. See, he's super glossy, and I love the way that it reflects off of his face here. So satisfying. I think he turned out pretty cute, and I hope this tutorial was easy to follow and that people actually, you know, want to use it, because everyone asks me to make Minecraft always, and I feel like bees are one of the easier things to make, just because, you know, their shape is so simple. They're basically just a flying rectangle. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. 
I hope you guys enjoyed, and of course I had to get Akira's opinion on this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys!